Alrighty, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy White Album here. Welcome back to some more Witch on the Holy Night. But before I get started, I just want to say I truly do appreciate each and every one of you that has found my channel through this amazing playthrough. You know, I mean, I've been having such a grand old time playing this game, man. It's kind of the reason why I'm going platinum for it, you know, I'm getting the platinum trophy for it. But I just want to say, just mention that, uh, you know, I am foremost a fighting game channel. You know, that's my primary content on this channel. And, you know, a big majority of you guys I know are not fighting game fans. So I just want to say I would really appreciate it if you guys would recommend my channel to any friends, family, neighbors, enemies, frenemies that you have who are, you know, fans of fighting game content. Uh, just tell them to come over, hop on my channel, you know, check it out. Well, you know, it's up to them whether they like it or not. They subscribe to it. It's all up to them. But I would appreciate that if you guys did that. Uh, you know, this is not to push you guys away. Again, you guys are like the main huge, you know, audience that i have for my channel is to, is through this gameplay or through this play there i should say and um and again i truly do appreciate all you guys man when it comes to that and uh, i can't wait for you know when the official english translation comes out for the suki hime remake because i know we're gonna have a grand old time for that uh when it comes out i think it's about like a month away yeah we're we're, we're pretty close to it we're pretty close to it so be on the lookout for when that comes out man but that's just going to be it. Just that little, like, short little intro I wanted to say there again. So, enough rambling. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's get into it. All right, let me. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. Quick load. Yes. Anybody can show a little bit more. All right, here we go. <laughs> Can we wait a bit before we start checking alibis? Before that, um, sweets hearts. What is it? I'd like to hear more about that. Kuonji, tell us all you know. We need to understand what it is. So, I suppose you're right. I didn't explain the essentials. Sweet hearts are Tamagogatano pudding. You can't use a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little it kind of looks like a hard-boiled egg on top of an upside-down crown. Crown. Hard-boiled. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> there, there's a visual representation. First of all, why is why does Aoko's face like you should know this? Come on now. That's novel. This is the first murder mystery I've heard where the weapon was a pudding. <laughs> Am I surrounded by idiots? <laughs> that's merely how that's merely how it appears before it activates. Sweethearts becomes a doppelganger of the person who eats it. To be precise, whoever eats sweethearts is imprisoned inside the egg. Outside, the doppelganger appears. So, once Sweet's Hearts is activated, it'll be in human form. Hmm. Okay. So we still haven't technically met the uh, murder. murderer. Oh, can I say that on YouTube, the unaliver? There you go. <laughs> so basically you're saying a person gets swapped with an imposter, right? Hmm. Let me correct myself. Only Toby Maru isn't a complete idiot. So, sweet hearts are shiosha and bucket of puroinano. So, they're more 
何しろ起動してしまったらスイーツハーツすら自分が犯人だとは思っていないんだもの That's right Sweet Hearts is a ploy that transforms into its user. A perfect replica. So perfect, it doesn't realize what it is. <laughs> Too perfect, you could say. <laughs> no matter how much you question or torture the suspect, without objective, absolute proof, They won't be exposed. Once evidence is presented to them, they realize that they are the sweetheart. Oh my god, it's a classic logic puzzle. Whatever that means. Oh, wrong, wrong one. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. This is so awesome. It's it said the best spies learn to convince themselves they're not spies. But this is troublesome. That doesn't sound quite right. The culprit wants us to laugh, no? If they don't know who they are, what would be the point? Sweetheart and its proxy human can switch on and off. Sweetheart and its proxy human Though, normally a perfect doppelganger, Sweet's Heart's own personality can emerge when certain conditions are met. Of course, when it has the personality of its proxy human, it has no memory of being activated. <laughs> What kind of setup was this? So we were dealing with a formless butcher? A murderer with no ill intent? That meant the murderer could be anyone. Even me. Any one of us could be sweethearts. I hate that it's sweethearts, just call it sweetheart. <laughs> Everyone relax. Just keep calm. If we start having too much fun, or start fighting, or get tired of this and go and, and try to go home, we're, we're well, <clears throat> or get tired of this and try to go home, we're as good as dead. If anyone needs to calm down, it's you. But how can I be calm in a situation like this? <laughs> If this is a dream, I don't want to wake up. At least half the group needs to be uh, needs to die what well, to die to really start oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> At least half the group needs to die to really spice things up. And then once I'm the last one left alive, oh. Wow. Talk about a crazy ploy. I guess we can all do at this point and check. Uh, uh, what, I guess all we can do at this point is check everyone's alibis. So, that's right. Right. We might not be able to pin sweethearts, but we might be able to figure out who committed the murders. Let's testify one by one. We should go over everything we did today. If anything seems inconsistent, don't hold back. 
I guess I'll start then. No one objected to Tsukiji's initiative. If he didn't want to go first, he looked suspicious. I'm gonna turn off my, my light real quick. Oh. I got a little, that's fine. Lighting's still good. And I don't know, maybe this fits the murder mystery aspect if I'm shrouded in darkness. <laughs> Beo, Kinomi, Yurihiko, and I all came here at 10 this morning. After saying hi to Kuonji, we each went to our rooms to rest, then met again at 11 o'clock in the drawing room and had lunch. Oh yeah, around that time Yurihiko went missing. Aozaki, Mr. Yamashiro, and Kumari arrived, at this, uh, arrived in the afternoon. Then, in the evening, Riddell barged in uninvited. I went to the bathroom a few times, but besides that, I was here in the drawing room in the sunroom. During that period, the only person who left the par who never left the parlor was Kuonji. This morning, I went shopping in town, then met Kumari straight away in the afternoon. For some reason, Miss Yamashiro was also there. <laughs> the three of us arrived at the mansion sometime after two. After saying hello to Toby Mara in the drawing room, I spent the rest of the time between there and the sunroom. I left a few times for the restroom, but I didn't see Toki once. Huh? Why do I have to go too? Whatever. But my story is the same as everyone else's. You know, it's a long weekend. So I, hit, so I hit up Toby and spent the night at his house yesterday. Kosuke was there too, so it was wild. In the morning, we all went to the park together to meet up with the old guy, before coming here in a sweet Rolls Royce. At 10, I said what's up to Alice. Since then, I've just been chilling here the whole time. I... Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is, uh... Wait, okay, wait, oh, hold on. Oh, fuck, okay. We gotta, gotta put on my Sherlock's home hat real quick. Tsukichi's story doesn't add up. Alzaki's story doesn't add up. No, it would make sense that Alzaki, because you were just with her, so... Oko's story should make sense with you, because that's how you met her. Or you met up with her. Oh, so I'm already forgetting. <laughs> Bale's annoying. Tsukiji and Alzaki's stories don't add up. Tsukiji and Bayo's stories don't add up. Ozaki and Bayo's stories don't add up. Is it? Huh. What do I what do I pick here? I guess the one that doesn't really technically doesn't make sense is Tsukiji and Bayo. Because 
Toby Morrow didn't mention that him, Hosuke, and Bale were hanging out with each other the night prior to that, right? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, because Bale didn't mention him going to rest up. I'm just going to go with Tsukiji and Bales because that, yeah, that one, I guess, is the one that doesn't make sense to me. ほとんど屋敷にいたんだけど、パーティーの準備が忙しくてあまりみんなと話していないな。誰かさんと誰かさんが手伝ってくれないから。Hmm. <laughs> I've been in the mansion most of the time. Been too busy preparing for the party to really talk to anyone. Mainly because a certain duo didn't want to help. それはともかくとして、基本的には今にいたよ。Aside from that, I was mostly in the drawing room. 買い出しとか庭の手入れもしたけど。I did go shopping and tend to the garden, but that was early in the afternoon. When I returned to my room in the evening, Mr. Tokisu was already dead. I was not alone. I was alone as for me, nobody else was on hand, so I locked myself in the West Wing my, uh, myself before Toki arrived. The West Wing contains many rooms that are off limits, including the Ploy Vault. From there, I went to the drawing room to look after the guests. I couldn't tell you who left their seat for uh, who left their seat or for how long. My story is the same as Ozaki's, but I guess I should tell you anyway. I met up with Aozaki and Mr. Yamashiro at, at 1 in the afternoon, and arrived at the Kuonji estate sometime after 2. I took a short break in my room from 3.30 to 4. Is that a, that, is that a short break? That's a 30 minute nap. <laughs> I remember the priest and the sisters coming to the foyer after... Or I, Around to the foyer at around four o'clock. Ah, Ato, so the coming to Dareka no Varaigoga Kikota Kigasurkedo Kinose Kamashi and Ishi. Goreva Sweden was Iron Schneider, Conan Sasser Dakedawa. Oh, also, while I was napping, I thought I heard laughter, but it might have been my imagination. Ah, don't read too much into it though, might make things confusing. I. Suzuki's story doesn't add up. Miss Kuwonji's story doesn't add up. I don't think I. I don't think what I said adds up. What? Suzuki, Miss Kuwonji's stories don't add up. I don't think Suzuki and I. I don't think what Suzuki and I said adds up. I don't think what Miss Kuwonji and I says said adds up. I don't. Bro, it's like that's funny. It's like nah. I you just you just like motherfucker. I don't even believe my own story. <laughs> um. Let's see. Yeah, I can know we saw. I think we saw Sojiro. I think it was mentioned that Sojiro was in the garden tending, so that might be true. Yeah, because then he came back and was like, hey, guess what? He's dead. Uh, It would make sense that Alice's story would make sense. Hmm. Let's see. I'm just going to go with... I don't think what Suzuki and I said ends up. Yeah, because we didn't see Suzuki at all the whole time. 
And did he mention anything? Say anything about coming? Well, we're just gonna say the voice uh, Suzuki doesn't add up. After I finished my work in the afternoon, I made my way to the mansion, like Aoko's invitation said I should, with no fuss. I arrived right about 4 o'clock and had tea in the sunroom until Riddell charged in. I found out Mr. Tokisu had been killed after that. I haven't seen him once during my time here. Though technically, the only one that technically did see a glimpse of him was Kumari, so... Hmm. Damn it, maybe I should have said... Yeah, because no, yeah, we we saw them. We saw... I don't know about... The, I don't remember the laughter part. I'm about to rewatch my own video on that. But the the... But we did see him. We did catch a glimpse of him earlier, uh, earlier in the in the story. So damn, fuck. Technically, hers doesn't add up. Hmm. Okay. 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 I haven't left the drawing room since arriving here. It was her. It was, it was. Get my arm in a way. It looks like I'm pointing at her. It was her. <laughs> I, uh, um, I left my seat a few times to use the restroom and explore the mansion. I mean, how often does Ali invite people over? There are so many rare magical trinkets to appreciate. So I took a little self-guided tour, but everything was locked up tight. Oh, but I know. Oh, uh, but I never went up to the second floor. That's the truth. I, Father Aries' story doesn't. No, it would make because they showed up together. I'm just gonna say, yeah, hers is suspicious as shit. Because Father Ari and Yoika are always together, so. And who the fuck explores somebody's house without their permission? The fuck? Like the hell? No, she's she's definitely the doppelganger. That'd be funny if she's not, but it's funny if she is. Um, the mood was a little tense, but there were no uh, obvious co uh, contradictions between the alibis. The room grew silent. There wasn't enough evidence to pinpoint the time of Tokisu's death. Nobody heard an explosion, and apparently, thanks to this poly kickshaw's nonsense. More, you know, even rigor mortis wasn't a reliable indi uh, indicator. So, since there was no way to deduce the exact time of death by examining the body, we can only estimate it based on the last time Mr. Uh, that the last time Tokisu and Mr. Yamashiro were, were seen. Mr. Tokisu lightly died between 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. Mr. Yamashiro between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. However, everyone was together at 7 p.m., so it had to have been some time between uh, 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. When well, three people had solid alibis, Ms. Kuonji, Father Eri, and Sister Yuka. Tsukiji and I have alibis when it comes to Ms. Yamashiro because we were both in the drawing room at the time. Aozaki, Shizuki, and Bayo were unknowns. Demo. But then the most likely suspects are Aoko, Alice, and Ritsuka. They knew about the ploy. The rest of us had never heard of this sweet's hearts. So, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get the 
Right. We should start. Uh, we should start by considering those who've known about it for a while. That's a huge difference between them and the rest of us who learned about it today. He was right. We needed to know when the ploy was activated. If it was me or Mr. Yamashiro, once we arrived at the mansion, we would have needed to find Sweet's Heart and activate it without knowing what it was. Not impossible, but not realistic. That would classify this game as a type of murder mystery involving sudden crimes. The kind of scenario where unexpected tragedies occur one after another. On the other hand, if someone knew about the ploy and had access to it any time they wanted, that would make this a premeditated crime. There's no need to figure out when the ploy was found. Person A would have likely switched places with the ploy and executed their plan at their leisure once everyone was gathered. Currently, that was the most likely scenario. <laughs> Well, if we assume the perpetrator knew about the ploy from the start, that makes Ozaki a suspect. Mm. She had enough time to kill them both. Like, damn, we're already pointing fingers at Aoko? Mm. It would have been tough for Ritsuka to kill Yurihiko. Plot twist, it was all Robin. Robin was the one who her murdered these two. <laughs> Wonji was the only person in the drawing room the entire time, so she couldn't have done it. Can't deny that. I've had more than enough I've had more than enough chances to do it. I knew it. Oh? What's that supposed to mean? あくまで可能性の話でしょ。それを言うなら、妖怪にやってきて、すぐにプロイを発見して、勢い食べちゃって、それでスイーツハーツになっちゃったって偶然もあるわけだし。I'm just saying it's possible. It's also possible somebody came to the mansion, found the ploy, gobbled it up, and then turned into sweet hearts, right? Don't be stupid. We're uh, we're all suspicious to some degree here. Bro, who just looks at a random egg and be like, I'm gonna eat that. Just like you don't know where that egg has been. <laughs> like if I see an egg, like a like a hard boiled looking egg, or like a, a, a what is it, a, a custard in the shape of an egg just sitting there behind like I don't know, like glass, I'm not gonna eat that. I'm just gonna be like that's decoration. I'm not gonna put that in my mouth. <laughs> Father Eri and I have been cleared of guilt, though. But how much do we really know about how you arrived at the mansion? Alice met you in the foyer because she heard your voices, didn't she? You can't prove where you were before that. She's right. And it's also possible I'm, con I'm conspiring with Father Eri and Yui. Ritsuka, whose side are you on? I'm on logic side. I swear as my pride as a detective fan to remain totally impartial. Anyway. If we're focusing on who already knew about the ploy, I can think of one other person that doesn't quite add up. Who wants to point her out? Oh. 
Riddell. Alzaki and the sister glared at each other so intensely I thought start sparks uh, that I what that I saw sparks flying. First of all, how? This is one of those like, funny anime things where it's like, well, one chick's blind, so. They probably didn't get along even at the best of times. Given the situation, it's no wonder they were at each other's throats. Aoko, I wouldn't provoke Yuka if I were you. Given the current rules, she's our best trump card. What? Don't you mean our greatest foe? No. She's in the safest position. Isn't that right, Yuika? Yuka? Yuika? Yuika? Yes. I literally don't know how to laugh. <laughs> what the fuck? Jokes don't work on me. I have no doubt that you'll be the first to self-destruct, Alko. Kowonji appeared to only a minute as a warning, but I could tell that the room was getting more tense. Just then, the blue robin appeared in front of Miss Kowonji. As it landed on the black table and started chirping, or I don't know what, as it, it landed on the black table and started chirping. That's not a black table. I know the perp. Want to hear it? It tweeted. Baguette. Miss Kuonji mercilessly squashed it with a karate chop. Anyway. One funny line could be the end of you. True. Anyone not named Yuka might uh, might want to find a good place to hide before it's too late. That made sense to me. I. We should stay in each other's room until morning. We should check Riddell's alibi. Ooh, which one is going to be? Which is going to be the more, you know, what's it called pick here? Because I mean, the most logical thing is to stay in your room the, until morning, right? But then again, we don't know Riddell, but she does know about the ploy. But the Mr. Ploy Kickshaw, Mr. Sweets' Heartses. Uh, let's see. So... Hmm. I mean, to be fair, we kind of know that she should have been a fucking helicopter, right? <laughs> so, I mean, that I guess that proves her alibi unless. Hmm. Let's go with that one. We'll, we'll, we'll check. I felt that we needed to dig in more into the pink girl's alibi. Huh? You want me to go too? I've got nothing to do with any of this. If you thought about it for even a second, you'd realize that those two idiots died before I got here. I don't even have to have a reason to use sweethearts. I'm a rich celebrity. I can solve most of my problems with money. Not to mention petty wishes. If I wanted to call down a storm, I'd do it even if it meant sacrificing everyone around me. Ah, don't be a dumbass. You're as much as a suspect as anyone. Kuroi 
You know about the ploys. You have a grudge against Aozaki and Kuonji, and you're way too over the top. <laughs> On top of that, he showed up uninvited in a freaking helicopter. What's more, you weren't wet from the rain when you came in. Care to explain that? I bet you hid somewhere in the mansion, called in your helicopter, that made it seem like you just got here. Oh, come off it. The music. Of course I came here in a helicopter. I used my goblin to keep all the rain off me. You seriously think I come here just to murder you all? Yeah, you've definitely thought about it before. He has. <laughs> That has nothing to do with this. Ugh. You guys are giving me a headache. I'm leaving. Just you wait. I'll be back with an Operation British of my own. Ground Zero, this house. Can you even leave? Remember what Alice said? It's highly likely that Sweetheart's probability shift has collapsed the roads. Well, she came in a helicopter, so I don't think that's going to change shit about the fucking roads, if we're being honest here. And the phone is still out. She gets it. Huh. I can still fly. I'll just call my helicopter to come pick me up. Don't underestimate the power of my goblin nest. The girl in pink stormed out in the hallway. My dog is snoring. <laughs> you can't hear him, but my dog is snoring. Hello, Daddy. It's me. She, yeah, we'll just go over the British accent. Can you send a helicopter to uh, Shiro Inazuka in Misaki Town? Yes, that Misaki. Huh? <laughs> I love this voice actor. What? What do you mean you give up? What do you mean give up? Have you got senile, you old codger? I decided I'll keep trying until victory is mine. And I've never lost in the first place. That was just a draw. You know the coordinates. Send me a chopper now. You've got 10 minutes. Huh? What do you mean you can't send one in this storm? Do I sound like I care? Or, are you suggesting that I fly myself out of here like a missile? What do you mean we don't have any helicopters to send? 
You call yourself a businessman, you dimwit? Use your brain. There's a military base nearby, remember? They're, te they're, uh, they're testing a prototype aircraft there. Just charter it. Yeah, this lady's a bitch, dude. <laughs> Goodness, can't you do anything on your own? Huh? <laughs> What? What do you mean cash is tight because you're restructuring? You have to buy the entire aircraft and crew? <laughs> Go ahead then. I can make you back that money in a day. I'll just do a private concert for some oil sheik or a Chinese billionaire. That good enough for you? Oh, please. Don't cry and tell me how proud of me you are. It's just for the money, daddy. I couldn't care less about the music industry. That's the only like one time you'll ever hear me say that word like that. <laughs> just give me that helicopter within 10 minutes. That new experimental super cool one. That's some budget Apache or other any other rubbish like that, or I'll never speak to you again. The vicious, uh, the pink girl's vicious berating could be heard throughout the house. She was speaking English so quickly with so much slang mixed in that I couldn't catch it all. Listening was a peculiar strength of mine, anyway. <laughs> That moron just order a military helicopter? Really? Right. That's all settled. My guardian angel will be descending from the skies in about 10 minutes. Sweetheart's rules only apply to this mountain. As soon as I get out of here, I'll put this all behind me. I'll just head home, have a fancy dinner, and relax. <laughs> oh, and don't worry. I'm not that terrible of a person. If any of you want to ride, I'd be happy to oblige. I'm sure some of you are tired of this stupid detective game. <laughs> My man said, mm, you know, I I am too. I, I like to I like to leave. <laughs> Hold up, buddy. Where do you think you're going? Well, well, she said she was her guardian angel. I wouldn't if I were you, she, uh, Sojiro. Yeah, she's an angel. And that makes Ozaki a goddess of healing. Don't fall for her crazy metaphors. Huh. What about you, Kumari? You heard what Tobimaru said. I'm not going. If she wants to leave, she can leave. Uh, she can she uh, she can go by herself. That and she also brought like three days worth of, you know, supplies. <laughs> to be honest, if rescue was coming, I really didn't want to leave. But I wasn't going to owe this pink princess any favors. Hmm. You must be all a bunch of dreamers to stay all chummy at a time like this. Hmm. 
宿泊客全員行方不明かなんてもんにならないようせいぜい気をつけなさい You all can do as you please Just don't be a tomorrow、uh, Just don't let tomorrow's headline be All guests missing from the hilltop mansion <laughs> Nige da so on naga yoku itta mono ne Snark all you want, coward So mo so mo kono tenko de taske nan te kuru haz nai shi Soto no tenki Arashi to you yori jigoku de shou Yume mi gachi na no wa so chi no atama no hou da to mou Nobody's coming for you in this weather It's like hell out there. Who's really dreaming? <laughs> And then, before even 10 minutes had gone by, there was a bizarre noise from outside that was separate from the howling storm. Aha! Earlier than expected. I knew father. I told you. It was the only one time you were going to catch me saying that. I knew father would come through. He's got friends in high places and he knows how to use them. In the midst of the tempest, a demonic bird came bearing down on us. Bright lights that I thought were eyes turned out to be a powerful searchlight and a beam stretching out for miles. The steel helicopter struggled against the winds in excess of 50 miles per hour and then. <laughs> This shit got destroyed. Well, there goes that expensive ass experimental fucking helicopter. Oh, it crashed. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, there goes that poor crew as well. Yeah. Kono tenko de fraito toka. Joshi kitikini kangate mucha de show. Aris san de mosokoma de sekin shirazu de arimasenyo. They should have known better than to fly in this weather. Even Alice has better common sense than that. Eh. Kanarazo ochirito motawa. Leader in the Saksenga umaku ita kotonante. Ima made each domanai notashi. Right. I knew it was going to crash. None of Riddell's silly plans ever work out. <laughs> They work perfectly every time. Just never when you're around. Anyway, that was just a test. My real plan is just beginning. Hang on. I have to take this. Time out. The pink girl went back into the hallway. Maybe she had a pager in her pocket. What? They're claiming you responsible? Special forces are breaching the company office? Her yelling resonated through the hallway. Everybody's face. <laughs> Calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Talk to talk to the commanding officer. Huh? They want you to pay for the damages? They're gonna kill you if you don't buy out the entire project. You're already tied up? Ugh. What's Kai doing like at a time like this? So how much do they want? Pfft. It's at least two more zeros than it should be. We can't pay that? Not right away. Hold on a second. Um, hmm. There must be another way. 
都市のツアー延長と私の持ち株とタヒチの島を売却すればなんとかなりそう<笑>いいわ契約成立買い取っちゃって軍事産業とか畑違いだけどとりあえずパパの安全部最優先 I'll extend my tour this year,、uh, sell off my stock, my island in Tahiti. That should be enough. Okay, it's a deal. Sign the papers. The defense industry is new territory for us, but your life is more important, Daddy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just said it without, without hesitation. Okay, that's the second time I won't be saying that. I was a little curious now. I. I'll go peek in the hallway. I'll just leave it alone. I'll just leave it alone. Who fucking cares? A moment went by. After about a minute. Ma, Heli no koto wa kippari wasreru to shite. Hold on, you guys, for one second. <laughs> All right, sorry, I had to let my dog out the room real quick. Forget that stupid helicopter. Let's think more positively. Oh, excuse me. She returned, acting as if nothing had happened. We were enemies, but I had to respect her,、uh, respect her sense of pride. Vettel, you. Tobi Maru. I said, let's move on. Fine. Well, at least we know you're innocent. If it turns out your sweethearts after all this crap, I don't think I can look you in the eyes ever again. So, no, I'm not sure. I told you. I had nothing to do with it, but do with any of this from the start. From the start, my voice cried there. I'm a genius, a rare mindster, a witch for the modern age. The great Riddell would never stoop to using silly, obsolete ploys. Didn't she try to buy some from Alice? Yeah, I'm a genius, a rare mindster. But you'd use a helicopter. Shut up about the helicopter. This is about me. I laughed, but I'm still alive, aren't I? There isn't a chance in hell I'm gonna laugh again. I'm gonna watch you all get picked off one by one by some ancient ploy. She sounded aggressive, but I think the pain girl was more concerned than she let on. With one last huff through her nose, she plopped down on the sofa. She seemed to make up her mind to work with us for tonight. Oh shit. Sorry, but I'll be back in a second. Carry on. Miss Kuonji was. Ah, the bathroom. Shikashi. Hakarazo mo dash to a fukano de arukoto ma show me a saratashi my master. Now. Now we know for sure that escape is impossible. Who 
私は校舎を選びたいところですが。We need to figure out who Sweetheart is. Or survive until the morning. I personally favor the latter. Sanse, Yabu of Tsuit, the heavy of Dashtara, so they cause them at no cano semo de decrushi. Me too. If we keep poking the hornet's nest, we might all end up dead. Kumari, what about you, Kumari? What does you are dochi de moikedo? Skiju a do no. I found with either Sukiji. Oreka? Orewa hunting to obtain any ipio than me. I vote we figure out who the killer is. Conna Joko, Skrita Stamanukinua. I'd like to give them a piece of my mind. But as she went to Chiradimo, Lidder Sandeva Arima Singa, Dotira Nicoron Demo, and then this no day. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine either way. And am tongue tied there. I don't share Miss Riddell's opinion, but I'll be safe with either option. What does she want? Skijikuni Sanse? Sweetie, sweetie, she must show me now. I'm with Sukiji. Time for a little deductive reasoning. Orego, so this ne. Soto no tenki mo arelu i podashi. Minna hea ni tatekomota honga i toa omo. Kagi o kakete neteshimaeba. Tanin ni warawa se rarioga noishi. Well, as for me, let me think. Hmm. The weather's only getting worse. So maybe we could stay in our rooms, lock the doors, and go to sleep. Nobody can make us laugh then. Oh, that's so boring. Sojuro-san, here we go a little bit. I don't want to know the name of Aoko. I don't want to know the name of Aoko. Come on, Sojuro, let's take this out. Don't you want to watch Aoko die? That's kind of fucked. Beyo, that's not funny. Hmm? Hmm? Beyo, that's not funny. Suddenly, the room was pitch dark. Everyone stay calm. It's just a power outage. If I find out who turned out the lights, I'll knock their lights out. That was a close one. I've heard several people almost fail to suppress a laugh. What are you thinking, Eri? You could have killed us all. He would have killed you, maybe. But I just had to keep that to myself. Yeah. I couldn't help it. The opportunity presented itself. Good timing, though. Even a silly joke can be an effective or can be effective if the timing is right. Oh no, I'm just I'm just laughing to myself. <laughs> Something about not being able to see his face makes it funnier too. Good grief. Even I almost laughed. Are you sure he isn't the killer? Our conversation continued in the dark. It reminded me of telling uh, telling ghost stories on a school trip. And it's just fun to talk in the dark sometimes. For whatever reason, I could tell we we're all tempted to make each other laugh. Found a candle. Anyone got matches? Or a lighter? When my Italian plumber lost weight, he got a lighter. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Some Mario. What? Was that Father Eri again? Oh, man. That was bad. I feel dumber for having heard it. Or having heard it, yeah. 
エスプリ聞かせてもインパクトねえぞシンプルイズベストだねえ I think the simple jokes actually work better given the primal circumstances we're in let me guess Alice is gonna be dead now hey be quiet I think the power is coming back on The Kuon, did the Kuonji estate have its own power generator? Generator? It wasn't clear who restored the power, but the drawing room was flooded with artificial light. <laughs> Looks like this old mansion at least has some proper equipment. I was worried we were going to have to be stuck in, a, in, in the dark until morning. Rola had moved next to me at some point. She looked up. I followed her gaze. Dog. <laughs> oh shit, hold on. It just hit my microphone. Hold on. Hold on. That was that was good. Dude, if she comes back from this, I, I swear, dude. I swear she comes back from this. Hold on. Yeah, let me fix my microphone. There we go. Yeah, if she comes back from this, I swear. The pink girl took what looked like several impacts to the chest, spun around dramatically, and collapsed. Riddell, what happened? Alzaki rushed to her side. I nearly avoided the same fate. If she had started laughing at first, I'd have busted a gut for sure. Riddell, hang in there. Before you die, tell us what you tell us what you saw. Was it the killer? <laughs> no, something much more interesting, it's much worse, a uh, squishy demon block. <laughs> Alzaki burst into tears. Clutching May's life of bo lifeless body in her arms. They were probably more alike than they cared to admit. Amidst the commotion, Miss Kuonji appeared, not appearing to have noticed the death. What's going on? I don't know. She just bursted out laughing for no reason, and then she was gone. I don't think she'll be coming back from this one. Perhaps out of pity, Suko, uh, uh, Tsukiji covered her with a tablecloth and laid her to rest at the side uh, at the side of the room. I quietly shuffled over to Miss Kuonji and whispered her in her ear. Miss Kuonji, what was that? I mixed up my change of clothes. Don't tell anyone, Kumari. Okay. But you're not the killer, are you? Of course not. This was just a hobby of mine. Don't worry. Damn, okay. For some reason, I've always felt like bullying her, and I can't explain why. It's really too bad, she sighed. Again, I felt sorry for Riddell. The clock strikes 11. All right, well, that made four victims, and now we are four victims down, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, there we go. That's going to be it for today's episode, you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy, man. 
God damn. Okay. I love her though. She's, she's great. She's so fucking, she's so fucking funny. I love her, <laughs> but she's dead now. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> but there we go. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please like comment and subscribe. It is your boy white album. I will see you guys next time.